These monsters are stronger all the time. Probably cause I'm on the team, I bet. But the good news is, as the leader of Benny's adventure team, I've learned a lot about how to draw monsters' attention. I'll lure them out, and once they charge at me, you guys wait for the right moment to take them all down. I've always wanted to go off on a big, long adventure and grow old along the way, just like my dad's. I know there's a lot of bad luck waiting for me out there, and if I'm not careful, I might not have the chance to grow old at all. But my mind's made up. I have to do it. Because adventuring is my favorite thing! If it's okay with you, I think we should check all the pillars in this room, just to make sure they're sturdy. If I spend too long in one place, sooner or later, accidents happen. It's not me I'm worried about, but if I'm gonna keep on adventuring with you, we gotta make sure everybody else is safe. I will show no mercy to any who threaten my companions. So, whatever evils dwell within this domain, you need not fear. My spear and my shield are at your command. That is my duty as guardian. At the core of any myth is a true story. But once a story comes to bear the hopes and dreams of an entire people, fantastical fictions inevitably become mixed in with the truth. But in my view, the truth of our myths is not important. Still, I will stride the golden sands, my heart yearning for the light of dawn. Whether with or without the blessing of the gods, I will always be the guardian who protects my people. I just had a brief look around. I quite like that hat on the coat rack. It's a nice color, and pretty stylish, too. I would have quite liked to try it on if this was a marketplace. But since it probably counts as lost property, I'll have to be content to admire it from afar. Are you going further in? Take me with you, please! I'm sure there'll be plenty of challenges for us to face. But if there's a chance of discovering the truth behind this place, it'll definitely be worth the risk. According to my interviews, this domain might be related to a famous author of fairy tales. Are those stories supposed to be an analogy for something? What clues could lay hidden in those pages? Oh, I'd love to meet one of the writer's descendants. I have a long list of questions for them here in my notebook. I wonder what secrets could be hidden within this domain. I mean, I know we're supposed to be having a break, but I couldn't call myself a professional journalist if I let the mysteries here go unexplored. Good thing I've got my notebook with me. Hey, maybe I'll be able to land an interview with the person in charge. Proceed with caution, assess the situation, fire on command, and shoot to kill. Clear rules and a battle plan are essential to any military operation. Sticking to these rules while we're exploring this domain will guard us against a lot of preventable accidents. But of course, if things escalate out of control, I will act as the last line of defense to secure you enough time to make a decision on how to proceed. I know all these books are meant for children, but some of these stories are actually quite good. Here, for example, this one's the story of two parrots that sue each other. Each accuses the other of stealing a poem that they both claim to have written that morning. But since they only know how to imitate speech, the judge has no way of knowing who actually wrote the poem first. Such a fun story. Any chance I can borrow it? We're gonna rest and regroup? Good, a wise decision. There's no telling what awaits us next. It's crucial that we take every opportunity to recover our strength. You should go hydrate. I'll handle the weapon maintenance. Once I'm done, they'll be good as new. I see a lot of people training in the art of the sword to pursue martial excellence, but that's not my goal. I'm only interested in capturing the aesthetics of the sword, especially the interplay between light and shadow. Combat, for me, is a chance to get a wealth of inspiration in the bag. But don't worry. Even if I lose focus mid-battle, Tomoto will help you out. I like the decor here. 
Seems like working in a different environment once in a while can be a good mood booster. Only thing is, once I get into work mode, I'm so focused on what I'm doing that I don't pay much attention to what's going on in the outside world. So, if you need me for anything, you'll have to get up close and personal to get my attention. Got it? Need a pillow? I can make one for you. I brought some cloth with me. I also have a nice soft blanket here if you need a comforter. Not interested. Well, I'm gonna take a nap anyway. Let me know when it's time to go. The deeper we delve, the stronger the enemies we find. This domain is certainly a very dangerous place. But in my view, if someone is called to exercise the forces of evil and defend the good in the world, then settling for the low-hanging fruit falls far short of their mission. A serious exorcist must be willing to take the fight to the most powerful foes. Today, I fight side by side with you. There is no evil we cannot overcome. I heard that some of the stories in these books talk about completely made up beings, but with incredibly lifelike illustrations. Do you think the author drew them purely from their imagination? I love the chance to learn from them if so. If I had that kind of skill, the field guide to demons and beasts wouldn't be in the sorry state it is now. Whenever I get out of a fierce battle and I'm still fired up, I take a moment to sit quietly and perform some breathing exercises. It helps stabilize my chi. I do it because of my pure yang spirit, but I believe the practice can offer similar benefits to other people. So do take a proper rest between battles. I'm sure it'll do you good. People often believe me to be highly focused on securing victories. I am a champion duelist, after all. The truth, however, is just the opposite. It is the spirit of the challenger that I value above all else. If someone is willing to face me head-on, they have my respect, no matter who secures the title of victor in the end. Strength is something that can be gained through experience. Courage, however, comes from within. Hmm, I think I'll read a little before the next battle begins. Please refrain from recommending something like a newspaper. I recognize that short-form articles may be a fitting choice, considering the limited amount of time at our disposal. But they're simply not to my taste. I rarely encounter opportunities to rest mid-journey. During battle, slowing down is even more out of the question. However, given that this is not a solo operation, I will go along with what you think is best. In any case, this is an acceptable place for a brief period of respite. I'm pretty nervous, to be honest. The battles here are tough, and I don't want to let the team down. Still, I can't just mope around wishing I was as brave as everyone else. That helps no one. No, I won't run away. Not me. That's right. Trini Forest Ranger Kale is ready for battle! The books here aren't too complicated. Even I'm having an easy time reading them. When I get back, I need to thank Master Tainari for his literacy classes. I'm more determined than ever now to stick with it, so that one day, I'll be able to read even more complicated books. Did you bring enough supplies? Don't forget to rehydrate and replenish your energy while we have some downtime. We're lucky to have this place. It's much safer and better equipped than a makeshift camp in the wild. But still, you shouldn't get complacent and forget to take care of yourself. You'll only end up regretting it later. Hmm? How would I know? Ah, uh, I mean... Because, uh, well, <sighs> do I really have to answer that? <sighs> <sighs>